Father, I made it alive. I'm alive. Where is he? Where is the yam? Yam? Yes. The yam took all the donuts that you were eating a while ago. Me. Father, that's a very big lie. I haven't even eaten since morning. I've been waiting till I get home. How could you could tell such a lie? Stop lying and tell her the truth. I'm not lying. But please, let's just stop these jokes. Let's call the women, the old women that will come and wash me. Step back. She is as guilty as accused. I'm saying the truth. Oh, shut up! We are just coming back from a soldier ants colony. We saw a mecca your fiancé dead. Almost completely eaten up by the soldier ants. It was reported to me earlier this morning by a woman who saw him. Awaka! Who can? Did you hear that? It's not like I do. That kills and throws the person to follow the soldier ants. For one reason or one sin. And that is the sin of uprooting planted seed yams. Did he be that in the Yes! He is the one who uprooted the chill candles planted seed yams. That much is obvious. And logically too. He committed such a new abomination because of a purity here. Where is the yam impurity? I don't know. And Ayajoko killed your fiancé just like that? Achiki, go inside the chair. Search for the yam or any sign of it. It's not yams. Ah, yams. Aru. My own yams. My own yams. What is inside that bag? More yams. More yams? Hey. What, what is sacrilege? Oh. Yams! Oh! Oh! oh. Aru! Father, I'm innocent. I did not eat any yam. Mecca did not bring any yam to me. I have no idea how those yams got here. Please believe me. My Mecca, he never came to see me, day or night. I don't know if he's guilty as accused. But I am innocent. Father, mother, you know me. Please tell the chief priest and elders of Umele that I have never told a lie in my life. Please, Father, plead for my curse. I'm tired. 
I really want to go home and rest. Please. Enough of this drama. Achike, Nana, bring her along. She is to be buried alive in the evil forest. No. I swear, I'm innocent. I really did not do it. Father, mother, please help me. I don't want to be buried alive. Please, I beg you. I said go and bring her along. No, no please. I'm innocent. Please, I beg you. I don't want to be buried alive. Father, please help me. Stop! I said bring her here. I said stop! And I shall bring her along! I want to be tried by the gods! Let the gods vindicate me or destroy me. Emirati, do you know what you just... Yes, mother. I know what I said. But I cannot allow them bury me alive with the truth. For my life, the reputation of my family, and Emeka, whose memory is being scandalized here. I am ready. I am ready to be subjected to any process that leads to justice. Let the gods fight for me, if they are still gods, or for no good. Gods of our ancestors. Here she is. Accused of the worst kind of abomination in our land. On her own, she asked to be brought to the evil forest to be tried by you. We have done our part. Perform your part by sitting in judgment over her through the night. And if she is innocent, Keep her alive until we we'll come back for her by sunrise tomorrow. If not, kill her. Let's go. Father, I understand how you feel. But it's been handed over to the gods. Cry no more. Just go home. Sleep tonight. And await my return tomorrow. I know. I know I'm innocent. I know I'm innocent. For no go. Ah, my advocate. They have never failed their grief. Neither have they killed innocent people. You taught me that from infancy. Or don't you believe them anymore? My daughter, I am proud of you. I love you. Same here. Please send my regards. Send my regards to Mother and Isiako. Tell them how much I love them. You always remind me of that. Iberichi must not survive the judgment of the gods in the evil forest. 
If that happens, our people will consult oracles far and near to know the person behind the yam seed uprooting and deal with the person accordingly. That was what my father said before I sneaked out of my father's compound to come and meet you. Are you aware of that? I'm leaving Umele tonight. Thank you for finally driving me out from the land of my bed. Too late for that. You are not leaving Umele. In fact, you must never leave Umele until Eberich is dead. She must not survive in that evil forest till sunrise tomorrow. The gods do not kill the innocent. I told you that right from the day you started blackmailing me into your evil skin. Now that she has placed her life in the hands of the powerful gods, who will kill her for you? You. What? Now I know it. Now I know that you're out of your mind. No human being touches anyone that is being judged by the gods till they are true. And anyone who does will instantly be killed by the gods. And you know it. A very potent chant I got from one of the most powerful DB around the world. He said that if you wear this, no spirit, no matter how powerful, will harm you. That was his exact word. And you believed him? Of course I have to. He's been the one making chants for my father over the years and he has never failed. I have no reason to doubt him. Besides, I'll be coming with you. You... you... Yes. I have a role to play. To ensure the efficacy of the charm, he said I should go with you and strip naked nearby and watch you do it. That the spirits can never kill someone in the presence of a naked virgin. But if you don't want to do it, you leave me with no option than to go straight to the elders of Umwili and tell them everything I know about you, including the yam operating, Emeka's mother, everything. If you're thinking, of exposing me. Don't worry, I'll do that myself and slash my throat immediately. What? But, 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 what, 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 what? what if I ask you to do your worst? You are neither suicidal nor stupid, are you? Okay, okay. Tell me, why are you this desperate? to kill your own blood sister? Well, the answer to that question is irrelevant, but if you must know, I'll tell you. is the verdict, wise one. The elders decided to follow what our tradition detects for corporates in situations like this. And the gods have given their consent. Youths, come with her at once. Let me hug my daughter. There is no time for that woman. Come with her at once. The loss of the land gives a person in my position the privilege of a last wish. That hug is my wish. She is right. Your wish is granted. Isiak, come. Come, my daughter. Avenge me. Do everything you must to make sure that total peace and joy are strangers to this family. And as long as you live, don't feel remorse ever. I love you, my daughter. I love you too, mother. I know you do. Bow to me, but you can do it. I bow to mother. Thank you, my daughter. Thank you, dear. Youths, let's go. Where are they taking you, mother? Don't worry, my daughter. When you grow up, you will know. Goodbye. Mother!
Due to the vow I made to my mother, I made sure Iberichi's mother and my father never laughed for too long in that house. That they never experienced peace. By killing every child they had after Iberichi, before they are three months. I tried killing Iberichi, but all my efforts seemed abortive. Over 20 attempts to mother Iberichi, even when she was still an infant, and all failed. Last year, after Idibia told me she can only be killed by the community of the gods, I started planning everything that has happened to her. Starting from the day she menstruated at the shrine. I was never ill. I never had fever. I did all that deliberately so she can go to the shrine during the sacrifice. Knowing fully well she is 100% likely to start menstruating. I monitored her menstrual circle for 18 months. I want her dead. I want her mother childless. I want my father to die miserably. I can never be happy until I avenge my mother's death. But what? Hey, shut up your mouth. I am not here for an argument. Are you ready to do exactly what I asked? Or you want me to go straight to the elders and tell them everything? I am determined to die. I am not scared of losing anything. That is the truth. I'm sure you have a lot to care about. Your father's lineage, your manhood. Are we going or not? I came here to kill you. Huh? Yes. The same way I killed the maker. I want the truth to be buried once and for all. So it was you. It was you who killed the maker. And threw his body into a soldier ant colony. The seed, yes. You did that too. Yes. Yes, I did all that. I planted the seed yams earlier today when you were sleeping. Don't even bother asking me why I did all that. Because I won't tell you anything. Enough of all these questions and answers. Let me do what I came here to do and go back home and rest. What? The charm failed. The charm failed and Iberichi is still alive. Thank the gods the idiot told you all I told him to tell you. 
before dying. Thank the gods the idea came to me on my way to this place. That would at least keep me beyond suspicion in all that has happened and more importantly, give me time and space to make another plan and wait for another opportunity to completely avenge my mother on you, your mother and your father. Yes, this is not the end at all. What happened? How did he die? Speak to me. I'm thirsty. Oh. Tell you, you think we came here to talk? No, no joking. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. of our land. You want to rape me? Huh? Huh? Who are you for God's sake? Who are you? Oh, please don't do this. I'm a widow. Are you not afraid of the gods? Huh? Listen. Are you not aware that? It is a taboo in the land of Omele for a man to have sex with a woman who is still mourning her late husband. Bikonu, I beg you, please don't do this. I beg you. Oh? Mm. Have you finished talking? Eh? Oh yeah, remove your clothes now. So, no, 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 no. Hey. You? Oh. Even you? Uh -huh. As you look, oh. look, are you going to have the plan as uh, have fun with us who planned or not? Asuk, are you mad? She will expose us! Can't you see she has already seen our faces? Can't you see it? Let me tell you, you're talking here. You're just talking uh, this thing. Are you going to have fun with her first? Or you want me to go and do it first? Are you out of your mind? I'm inside my mind. Huh? Azuka. Good question. My late husband is his father's younger brother. Huh? Are you done with your salmon? No, are you done with your salmon? In fact, you've already worsened the issue. If you produce, deliver, alter, say anything here again, I am going to cut you into tiny pieces. Now what you do? Mm -hmm. Lie down and do, remove your clothes. Do my work. Oh yeah, sit down. Kaya, sit down. Hey, hey. Okay. Uh, you know what I want to do what? You want to? Oh, I'm going to do it. Please don't do this. You want to? You know what? So I will go and hustle for you to come and come and just let me know something. <laughs> 
The supremacy of the spiritual over the mortal man cannot be overemphasized. That is why the spiritual will always control the physical. The mortal man, even with his eyes wide open, cannot discern spiritual realities because his existence is merely accidental. That is why, through servants of the spirit, like Ikudu is here to guide the mortal man to where he is going. Again? When the sun and the rain begin to drag for a place up in the sky, is that not the sign of trouble? But why? Why Uzuma, my late brother's wife? A woman in mourning? Surely, they are not ignorant of the consequences. Oh yes, no wonder whoever the gods want to destroy, they first make blind. I think it's time now that I stop them before they destroy everybody in this village. Oh yes, I must have to. I must have to. There's trouble. Yes. Before I could finish, she passed out. Is that why you're panting? Is that why you are panting? Four rounds from you, three rounds from you, what do you expect? Is she a lot of you? Look, let us go back and finish when you're stopping. Uh, how do you mean? Don't tell me you want to... I am the only son of my mother who is a widow and has gone beyond the age of childbearing. You understand? That woman, I will not let her go beyond today. Eh? Asuka, my dear friend, let me ask you, will you accept to be executed in an evil forest for raping a widow who is still mourning her husband? Will you? Can your family live with the disgrace and the shame? I mean, with the shame and the disgrace? Let me tell you, we have to complete what we started. Anyhow you look at it, we're already criminals. We are already criminals, so we have to do it. Yes! Well, a chicken Azuka, my own brother's wife. And his friend Achike did too. Look at what he did to a fellow woman. Quiet. I am not here to listen to your talks. I'm here to give you a message for your son. He must go and report himself to the elders of your community. He should tell them what they did to me. Else, I will destroy him. 
Rosco. I said, soon as. Soon as Lacuna. Azoka, how could you? How could you, Azoka? A woman mourning her late husband. Hey! After all the huge sacrifices I offered to the gods to, to save you from the curses your sister placed on you, you still went ahead and did this. Achike's father and I agreed that both of you should get married. The maidens were even on ground. Yet you went ahead and, and did what you did. How can I save you now? Hi. Why did I even get entangled with this? Huh? Why did I hide you all these years from the atrocities you committed against women? Why? Oh. And must stop sounding like this now. Eh? Stop sounding this way. Eh? I don't like the way you are sounding. Please, at least, I, I don't want this woman's ghost to kill me. Biko, eh? Mama, remember I'm your only child. Though. So for that, you wouldn't heed my advice to stop raping women all these years, right? Well, you are right. I have been hiding your raping spree. Both in Umele and the Digo communities. Just because I don't want to be childless. But it seems the gods, the gods are using that one thing I feared against me. By you going ahead to rape and murder a widow and with the threat from her spirit, covering you up will be out of the question. So I think it is better for you to report yourself to the elders, like she said. Or she will kill you. I know you can help me. You, you, you did it before. Please do it again this time. Biko. Eh? How? Azoka, how? We are not talking about humans here. We are talking about the angry spirit of a woman you violated and killed. I cannot help you. Uh, okay, the first person Achike and I raped was my younger sister. Despite that, Mama, you married her out knowing fully well that she would die during childbirth. You lied to her. You and Achike's father lied to her that you've offered sacrifices to the gods, that nothing was going to happen to her. Uh, when she realized that you lied to her during labor, she cursed Achike and I before she died. That we will continue raping until we destroy ourselves in the process when you realized that the course could not be broken you vowed to me that you will continue protecting me in case such thing happen again reason was if the case was reported to the elders you me Achike and his father would have been executed for it mama i remember all these things why are you sounding differently now why are you sounding differently mama? why wouldn't i why wouldn't i sound differently or oh, why would I act differently? Eh? Huh? Okay. Since then, tell me. Since then, how many other women have you raped? Twelve. Have I not kept to my own side of the story? I have kept to my word. Why would you go to the extent of raping and killing your victim this time around? How can I possibly protect you from... The angry spirit of the dead. Tell me. Uh, uh, Mama, I know that Achike's father is a powerful priest. If you go to Achike's father, both of you can do something. Mama, please, do something now. Eh? Do something and cover me up. I don't want to die. Wait, oh, Asoka. You said that Achike's father caught you at the scene of the crime. He did, though. What did he do? He didn't do anything. He just walked out 
He couldn't even wait to listen to what I was saying. He just walked out. Well, if a man as powerful as Achike's father could not help you, I wonder what you think a mere woman like me can do. It is better for you to do as the spirit had instructed. Go and report yourself, then or she will kill you. Mama, it's again. Sorry, I can't help. You can't help me. It's alright, no problem. <clears throat> I've heard what you said. Eh? I am going to report myself as the ghost requested. But before I do that, I will report all the rape cases that we've been involved in. I will start with the one that involved my younger sister. <laughs> Mama, leave me, let me talk. Yes, I will start with that one. And I will also report how you and Atikir's father have been covering up all the rape cases in this village. Where are you going? Of course, to the elders. Hey, come, come, my son. You don't need to go to the elders. Eh? We can actually resolve it here and now. I will help. No, no, no. no we can resolve it here. Guess we are returning with your mother from the, from the farm. You saw a young man with two elderly men leaving our house? Yes. Didn't you? Yes, I did. Good. The young man came here to seek for a marriage and a marriage. And your sister has accepted. Oh, yes. In three days' time, they will be here to perform the marriage rites. Um, Berichi, is that true? Yes. yes. Now, in the customs and tradition of Humwele community, if there are two or more medians in a family, all must marry in their order of seniority. And if for any reason the younger one happens to marry before the older ones, the older one automatically becomes a taboo in her father's house and must take up temporal residency in her grandparents' home until she gets married herself. Your mother was an only child, as you already know. And your maternal grandparents were long dead. Their house became so dilapidated that their neighbors had to demolish it seven years ago. Also, the disagreement your mother had with your uncles over the disposal of your grandparents' properties. They don't even care if you are alive. Now, if you stick to your gun, just go and tell Asoka's people to forget about the marriage plan. But before doing that, let me inform you that if your sister gets married before you, you will become a vagabond. Is that what you want? Is that? Please, there is no cause for alarm. Yes. Part of the things my daughter wants to wear to appear before you was locked up in a box inside the house. Okay. So I went in to give them the keys. So uh, very soon they will check. All right. That's the guy who went. Oh, 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 Father, I call you here to inform you that the Beretti's husband and his people will be coming here in four days' time to conclude the marriage. Why? Father, why the urgency? Her bride price was just paid three days ago. I've accepted. 
get to marry Azoka? Why not mine first? My dear, in a matter like this, the groom has the final say. Myself, as father of the bride, I cannot say anything. Mother. Wise one, the last time we came here, you said we should give you good five days. This is the sixth day, and nothing we've said nor done could make him change his mind. Not even the suicide threats from his son could make him change his mind. Please help us. Wise one, these few days had I been a trying one for me. Thirteen seizure in all. Only the gods know. Why my fiancé has not caught me in any. I, 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 these days I spend almost all my days indoors. Please, I beg you, help me. I don't want to be disgraced publicly by this epilepsy and my marriage to Isiak ruined as a result. I love her so much. I don't want to die. There is nothing you can do. Nothing you can do to change Ibudu's mind. I just returned from a meeting I have with him in the spiritual realm before you arrived. Oh my please, he fell on deaf ears. He has made up his mind to accept the worst rather than help out in the case. Oh, because of my ancestors, help me. Help me and I swear never to rape again. I will never rape again. Wise one, please. Help me in this situation. I promise and I swear here that I will help in fact, I will take care of uh, Zuma's children until they grow into adulthood. Please, I beg you, just give me a way out. I pray you. Yes, wise one. There must be a way out. Please help us. Help me. I don't want to lose my only son. Please. The only way out is to kill him so that another can take over his post and cage Uzuma's spirit for you. Wise one, kill a priest to a powerful deity like Ibudu. What kind of a human being can possibly do this? Only the one that will succeed him can do it. And who is that? Achike. Oh yeah? Achike? No, Achike cannot do a thing like that. Achike that I know cannot take away a strand of hair from his father's body, let alone killing his father. Achike cannot do a thing like that. Remember? Then find a way to force him. Else, my hands are off your case from this moment. Ah, wise one, please. Please help us. I am true with you. Out. Out! What do you get? What do you get? What's the hug? Wally? Man, I'm not going to call you. I don't say I call it. I'm going to call you. I'm going to call Wani kanga madiri le swenyako Wani kwa bute ni yoma bako tani azoi Iko bute ni yoma bako tani azoi Ima na chole bugele Ukwa meje mana Ima kwa meje mana zikwole You must be out of your mind Azoka How could you? How could you tell me to kill my own father? Ask me to kill my own father for you It is you and I Achiki that our lives are being threatened by an angry ghost. Yes, an angry ghost. Eh? Azoka, you are not serious. Yes, you are not serious. In fact, if it is why you called me to this place, I am out of this place. Azuka, 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 give me, give me my necklace, oh, Azuka. Azuka, Azuka, Azuka. Mais ça, j'ai dit, mais pas... 
What is your mission? Wise one, wise one, my manhood, my manhood, my manhood, wise one, my manhood. Uzuma took your manhood, mm. and you are here. Mm. Am I Uzuma? No. Wise one, please help me. Help me. My father even refused to listen to me when I ran to him for help. Hmm? Please, Nai. Hmm? I can't face this disgrace. I can't. It, it, it's, it's, a, it's a big disgrace, Nani. Now you're not told that only you can save the situation yourself. If your father refuses, do the necessary to recover your manhood. My hands are washed off your case already. And for your information, you have 10 days remaining. 10 days before Uzuma returns to kill you and Azuka. Kill your father, else you die. <laughs> Live now! <laughs> Mother, I don't understand the kind of life one is living. You cannot have peace of mind, even for one hour and kitty. You can't. But you huh? caused it yourself. Somebody will attract a problem and some other person will solve the problem. Why is this one different? Azum! Huh? Azum! Ah! Isiak! Isiak, my love! <laughs> okay. Since mother. You say, Aku, how are you? I'm fine, mother. I'm here to see my husband. Um, uh, come with me to the kitchen. Um, mother, that should be when I'm done. I need to see him and discuss something very important with him. Well, I'm sorry you can't see him. Why? I just heard him call me. I know. I'll, I will explain everything to you later. Mother, are you seeing clearly? Do you still know the person you're talking to? The person standing before you is Azoka's wife. And I said I need to see him now. Isiako, I am neither blind 
nor death. I know you. But I have told you that you cannot see him now. Period. Azum! Oh, Azum! Azum, I need to see you now. Mother is blocking my way. Beg in the name of the gods. I need to see you now and discuss something very important with you. And mother is blocking my way. Isako, are you disobeying me or something? Not at all, mother, but I need to see you. Is it true that your younger sister's wedding is coming up this weekend? Correct me if I'm wrong. You have come to appeal to my son, Azoka, so that he can fix your wedding on or before that time to avoid you being forced out of your father's house. Well, I take your silence to mean that I'm right. If that is why you're here, just get out of my compound or I will delay your own wedding till next year. Mother, did you just say that? I did. You heard me correctly. You heard me very well, Isiako. Live in peace or you will be forced to live with your wicked maternal uncles for another year. How do you choose? She has been in this house. Where is she coming back from? That I never knew when she left for the place. Nanya, I don't know. I learned from a that uh, uh, she's not in the house. And she refused to tell her where she was going to. And she came back, locked herself inside? You see, I open this door now. No. No, father, go away. You see, you're talking to your father. Where are your manners? Gone to the coast land of Miss Bochard's mother. My manners and my other as a woman have been stolen by this girl's mother. Yes, I am nothing but a walking dead. A walking bad dog. Don't go away. Isiako, I am going for my embassy. And if I come back and stay me this door, Lord, it's only to go care of them that 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 will save 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 the Isiako. Please open the door. No! Isiak, Isiak. No! 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 Just let me be. Let me be. Allow me to wallow in pain. Let me be. I will not open the door. I will not open the door. Now, please take it easy. Now, take it easy so that you won't injure her. She have done to. No, I don't know. Hey, you see, Aku? You see, Aku?
it yourself. <coughs> you cursed beast. Find it or you will die disgracefully. I know. I know. So where is it? Use the same weapon you've used to kill your father to force the answer to that question out of my mouth. You cursed beast. <coughs> Go ahead. You cursed beast. Now, talk now. Azuka, we are finished. How? Uh, did your father escape? No, Azuka. I killed him as we planned. <laughs> yes. But there's a problem. problem. What is the problem? Azuka. You, 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 you said that is a problem. What is the problem? Azuka. Without the Akadiki. His official symbol of authority. I cannot take over from him as the chief priest of Ruruala. And nobody else can. And he refused to tell me where it was before he died. Hey! Azuka. I searched everywhere. Searched every corner. I cannot find it. Hey! But why did you kill him before? Hey! 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 hey. That means I'm going to die. That means Uzuma's ghost is going to kill me by the time it returns. Hey! Calm okay. down. Oh, okay. I should calm down. Azuka, calm down. I should calm. Let's let's. It's, 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 it's okay. It's okay. I I I'm calm. I'm calm now. Eh? I, at least I know that I I I am going to die by the time Uzuma's ghost returns. I will die calmly. But I am going to die. But that will be. Oh, oh, wait, I did Azuka, it's going to be. Do you think I'm enjoying this? Azuka! Azuka! Put yourself together! Stop this, Azuka! Stop it! Stop it! Do you think I'm enjoying this, Azuka? I just murdered my own father in cold blood just to save the both of us! Too late. Stop this.
That's why I give me the knife. Give me! Give me, give, 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 give me the knife! Let's go. Azuka! Let's go. 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 Wise one. Wise one. Neither me nor any other Dibia can help you, no matter how powerful. Unless you first find and possess the Akadike. Whoever that tries to help you shall be instantly struck to death by the gods. The warning has already gone round the spirit world. Uh, 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 how can that be, wise one? Mm. Ozoma's spirit is... Ozoma's spirit! ...will never spare the both of you. Unless Achike finds the Akadike and get installed as the next chief prince of Oruwala. And in that capacity, hedges her angry spirits himself. Uh, uh, Wise one, that is why we're here. Where can I find it? I mean, the Akadiki. Please, please, spare us, please, please. No, please, please spare us, please. Young man, Uruala and the spirit of our murdered priest I indeed angry. And for my own safety, I will speak no more on this issue. And no Dibia will do for the same reason. And should any of you approach any Dibia or any deity for the same issue, both of you will be struck dead by Urwala that moment. I am going to die. We are going to die very soon. Very, very soon. We are going to die. How? I mean, what happened? How did it go? Bad. Very bad. Very bad. You mean that she can refuse to do it after your threats? He, he decided to talk to the, the, the elders instead of doing what he said he should do. Asuka, talk to me now, eh? Asuka, talk to me now. Asuka! Hey. Asuka! Two hours now, father left to look for Isiako in the forest behind the house. I just hope they are okay. What should we inform the villagers about this current situation? No, no, your, your father warned against such action unless he comes back without Isiako. He did? Yes. Gods of our land. 
could have made this Jacob behave the way she did today? Could it be Azuka has come to some kind of harm? May the gods forbid. Not my own in-law. Hey. What happened? Abomination, Nkem. The worst form of abomination has happened in the Uwele community. Nay, what happened? Did this Yaku harm herself? It's not about this Yaku. As a matter of fact, I didn't see her. Hi. Then talk to us. What happened? Shh. I found the chief priest of Uruwala murdered in good blood in the forest. <gasps> Father, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Mother, I'm so, so sorry. Please. Wait, 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 wait. Get up, get up, get up. Thank you, Father. Uh, Isiaku, did you go to Baja Forest today? Yes. Uh, no, no. No, no, no. I didn't. When I left here, I went to Idigo community to apologize to Azoka over some bad behavior I put up when we had this agreement. I'm sorry I didn't take your permission before leaving, just that I... I understand. I understand you are very sad about the fact that you'll be leaving this house in a few days' time. So is the foul of Oruala. Ashike, go and release him. Immediately release him. Oh, 
The gods have vindicated you for allowing you and the fowl that was hung around your neck to be alive from yesterday till this morning. That means you did not tell us lies when you said you had no hands in the death of the chief priest of Oruala. You may go now. Ichiadaka. How? Are you. Do you want to let him go? killed my father and how did they kill my father we have done what the custom and tradition allow us to do in a situation like this our car survived the night in this compound with the spirit of your dead father and that of our angry gods and ancestors this shows that he is really innocent he did not kill the chief priest of Orala. that means he did not kill your father, Ibudu, as we suspected. Exposing and punishing whoever that did that now lie in the hands of our gods. Now be the next to take over from your father. The ball is now in your court. But without the Akadike of Oruruala, there is nothing I can do in that regard. That is why I said the ball is now in your court. Take up the foul. From this moment on, you are a total stranger in this compound. If you step into it without the Akadike of Urala, you shall die. If the fowl in your hand dies before the Akadike is found, you shall also die. But the gods forbid. You all know I'm the only son of my father. According to the customs and tradition, they will not bury my father in my absence. And he shall remain here until the Akadike is found. But that is unfair. In the open like this, what if it decomposes before? Nothing will happen to the corpse. Even in a thousand years' time, your father's corpse is in the custody of the gods. But his spirit will know no peace until he is properly buried. This is unfair, elders. Yeah? This is so unfair. Why don't we just consult the oracle? No oracle anywhere in the world will speak on this issue. Lest I forget, as soon as you leave this compound, you are forbidden for whatever reason, to leave Umweli. Otherwise, you shall die. If you are still in this compound, by the time we bring down our hands, the gods will strike you dead. Gods of our land, I can't believe I sat back and I allowed the youths of Umweli drag my own father out of this compound yesterday, accusing him of murdering the chief priest of Urala. Despite what I knew about the mother, I said nothing. What if he has come to some kind of harm? If Achike could kill his own father, what wouldn't he do to cover up his track? What if he has had my father and mother too? 
to make it look like it was him who actually killed his father. How can I ever forgive myself if that happens? Can the reason for my wicked silence, even if I succeed in the end, ever justify my own father's death? He's innocent and I know it. Yet, I chose to... Father! Achike! 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 Father! Please! Please! Father. Why did you do it? Please don't kill me! Please don't kill me! Please! Please! But you killed me! I'm sorry! I'm sorry. Uh, please, just... She showed me where the Akaniki is. Yes. I swear. I swear. I, I won't... Your home. This is our matrimonial bedrooms. <laughs> <laughs> Obin. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for everything. Thanks for making me proud of you. By doing what the king's man demanded. I'm so happy. You ought to be my dad. Today is your day. Our day. In fact, I am the, I am happy. I'm the happiest person. You happy. But you didn't dance very well during the bridal dance in my compound. Your father's compound. Now my compound is yours. I'm talking about dancing. I've never been a good dancer all my life. But later tonight, we will see who dances bedroom dance better. Oh, better still, let's start. Um, no, 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 stop. Stop it. You're making me scared. How? Well... I've never done it before. <laughs> it's okay, my love. I won't hurt you. You're my wife. Rather, I will make it a day to remember with smiles for you. <laughs> it's okay. That one is over. Let's go out and attend to the maidens that came back with us, okay? It's okay, my love. Oh my God! Oh my God! 
any of them. Not even my husband or my parents. Look at me. Look at what they reduced such an innocent girl to. They tore me away from my husband and separated me forever from my own people. Please, please help me. Help you? How? I'm tired. I'm dying of thirst and hunger. of anything I, I have with you. No. No, oh, oh, God, please. Please, God, please. <laughs> When Ele, the great founder of our community, left his land of birth with his sons and wife to find a settlement for himself, they encountered many dangerous elements on their way. 
It was you! We have been talapo! We have appeared before him! If I'm a rabbit, that led the way! And our great ancestors followed. They trusted you! And you never disappointed them! Several months into their sojourn, they arrived this environment. And at the very spot, the rabbit got the niche. Took up a residence. Signaling them that this is the place he chose for them to occupy forever. In appreciation, he allowed his sons slaughtered seven fowls. The sacrifice they made that day, which we, the descendants, tributed yearly, became the essence of our brotherhood. From that day on, the rabbit allowed the instruction he gave to them became the sacred symbol of our brotherhood. We are forbidden from eating rabbit meat. Whoever does will be separated from the rest of us for seven years. And whoever in our midst that kills a rabbit, you told our ancestors, must be separated from the rest of us forever. And none of you will have anything to do with such a person, or the person becomes a taboo too. The culprit shall not drink water from our land. Neither shall she eat anything produced or cooked in our land. This must be her lot till the day she dies. And if for any reason the culprit leaves Umele, he or she will never return. Or whoever she makes contact with on stepping on her soil dies instantly, having broken the seal of our common brotherhood by killing a rabbit. We are here before you, with the Bereti, the evil woman who has broken this norm. Release to me the pot of suppression in Talapu, that we may once and for all crown her a contagious taboo in Umwele. Talapu! 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 <laughs> I can't have a woman with this young yoko. I can't come by the work it can't see. Eh? One of we wago. Hm. Everetti, step forward. Fear not, my children. Like I promised, I have stolen the pot from the abode of Ntalapu in the spirit world and I have handed over to your people, Achike. And now, the ritual that will make Eberechi a taboo in Umwele for the rest of her life is about to be accomplished. As you know, if the pot had failed to appear, it would have proven to them, there and then, that she is innocent. And that would have rendered every of your efforts useless. Uh, uh, but, <coughs> wise one, um, you mean uh, the gods did not do anything? When you got to them to steal the pot. Even the gods sleep, my son. Ntalaku was asleep when I got there. Mind you, the gods may be silent sometimes. But one thing they abhor so much is injustice. Ntalaku will be angry when she wakes up because of what happened. For Eberechi is one of her daughters. And her daughters she protects fiercely. She will definitely fight back, and that she will do with all the guts of Umwele. When the battle will start, I cannot tell. But when it does, all of you involved in this 
and many others will be consumed within minutes. The only thing that will save your life is the Akadike in your hands. Do whatever you must to get it for your own good. Go. 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 Why is all good? Where did you Where did you come? What's your I'm not going to be a good guy. 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 I'm not going to be a good Oya jo bugu, omuludo. Ha 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 No, 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 please, 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 authority. Please, please, spare me, please, please, no, no, no! Ah! pulled it off successfully. Very good. Beautiful. So when did he say Edoechi would do as he controlled her to do when the ritual is over? Uh, he didn't say... Oh, oh. Uh, Ezuma, mm. thank you very much for... for... Eh? You see, thank you. Uh, mba, 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 mba. I didn't do what I did to be thanked to. I did it for a fee. Mba, 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 mba. Give me, give me, give me. Give me, give me. <laughs> Relax yourself. Imagine the way you rose up like it. It's alright. Eh, uh, Achiku. Eh? Give it to him. Ah, okay. Yum, yum, yum. Eh, okay. Yum, yum. Until I am happily settled with Uwakwe as his wife. Forget it. I, see, many are going to die, including all of us here. If you do not release the Akadike to him, that was exact word from Ume. Try something else. You won't bring me down with your cheap lies. I am not going to succumb to that. In fact, I am out of here.
तरीके जा तरीके What is the meaning of this? I have told you to stop crying. I have absolute trust in the gods. It's okay, stop crying, huh? Huh? Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
You left here before daybreak to go make inquiries from Ume about why Ebeyechi didn't come to this place as he said she would come. Had she killed herself? Ume? Ume is dead. Ume is dead. I saw his corpse. I saw his corpse when I went to the shrine. When I went to the... Mother, the place was, was a scene of full chaos. His tongue was, was sticking out of his mouth. Gods of it, go. They have killed him. Yes. It's only the gods that can kill a man like that. Hi. Gods of our land. This is not happening. What are we going to do now? I don't know. I don't know. Asuka. Eh? Huh? No, this is not happening. Lay your cursed hand off me. Tell me, what game are you people playing with me? Game? What? We're not playing any game. We're... Obviously, you take me for a fool. Having secured the Akadike for Achike to solve your own problem. You killed Ume. Uh, fool? No, 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 that cannot be true. Okay, uh, that is not true. Okay, after this discussion last night, we waited in vain for your sister to show up. She did not. I went to consult Ume. How could I kill such a powerful Dibia? No, you tell me. Asuka, tell me. I only agreed to be part of this because of the deal we had. The deal that you people will help me destroy my sister's marriage. Get her not only banished from Umelo, but also frustrated that she will come to this place seeking help. And that help we agreed that you only give if she agrees to marry you. Thereby making way for me to become Owakwe's wife before my father returns the bride prize today. Before me, Ume said that she would come to this place yesterday, running and asking for help. Until now, that hasn't happened. Which leaves me wondering if there wasn't any conspiracy against me by all of you. Conspiracy to get Akadike for Achike and frustrate my own plan. Um, Isiako. I swear with my life that that is not the case. Even me too, I, 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 I swear I... Just shut up. Get Eberechi to marry you before midday. Else, I will tell the elders of Umwele land everything I know about you and Achike. Yes, go in search of her if that's what it takes. Midday. No more, no less. I'm dying. My tears, my denials, and my pleas. Never trust any of them. Not even my husband or my parents. Look at me. Look at what they reduced such an innocent girl to. They tore me away from my husband. 
and separated me forever from my own people. Please, please help me. Help you? How? I'm tired. I'm dying of thirst and hunger. I ran away from Umwele village. And having done that, I can no longer return there. I have been to all the neighboring communities, met with several people, but they all drove me away. Please, please, I beg you, I beg you, help me. I don't want to die. Please, I beg you. Those people who drove you away had good reasons for doing so. Anybody who sees you knows that you were banished for an abominable act. And no reasonable man would want to have anything to do with someone like you in his family. I'm innocent. I really did not do what they're accusing me of. I'm innocent, I swear to you. Well, that is irrelevant now. You are a taboo in the land of your birth. That is the only reality that matters here. You cannot remove that item on your head. If you try it, you will die instantly. Anyone who tries to help you, as a matter of tradition, must have to know that you will spend the rest of your life with him as a matter of tradition. Are you not aware of that? I am. You are. And you chose to come to this place. Are you not also aware that even if these items on your head is removed, you will never have any form of contact or relationship with any indigenous of Umele for the rest of your life? Eh? Okay, if I decide to help you as tradition demands and take you in, what becomes of my marriage with Isiak? Didn't you see the way she ran the moment she saw you? Didn't you see? How dare you come to this place? How dare you come to me alone? I, 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 I want to smash her head. How dare you come to this house? Don't touch him. Mother. He's my husband, he's dying. He is my only son. He's having epileptic seizure. Epilepsy? I don't understand. Mother, what is going on? I'm sorry we hid everything from you, but I will explain. Ex Explain what? What do you want to explain? That the man I call my husband is epileptic and you hid it? Is that what you want to explain? Mama, listen, this is over. I won't do this again. It is over between your son and I. I won't have anything to do with whoever that comes from this family. Stay away from mine. It's over. It's hey, shut up. Tabu. Excuse me. Well, that makes us two people with two big problems you need someone to take that item off your head and give you a roof over your head for the rest of your life and i need a maiden who will be my son's wife despite this deal You are a young man my wife and I have come to love and accepted as our son in the last few weeks. When you see us sad, 
it is not because of the dowry you paid on Eberechi that you are here to take back. But what giving it back to you means for our relationship from now on. The abomination Eberechi committed yesterday has actually robbed us of the children. You walk and they bury you, my daughter. You are my son, not just an in law. I wish I have another. I wish it's here. It's not yet given out to another man. I would have given her to you to replace a Bereshi. Instead of doing what I am about to do now. Oh. God of whom well. Why me? Why me? Why? Avaka, pull yourself together. Waika, dry up your tears. The feeling that the both of you have just expressed, Miss Moshua. Uwakwe <laughs> here cried all through the night. He cried himself to sleep last night. Not only did he love Ibereshi so deeply, but he also took you as his parents. You know, he lost his parents as a boy. Like you, his loss is immeasurable. And what is about to happen has compounded everything for him. On our way coming to this place, he kept on echoing and repeating exactly what you just said. I wish they had another daughter. I wish Isiaku was not yet married. Why? Why? The gods of our land, why? What could have put my ability into this type of fact? How could I have... How could I have lived with... Uh, Araka, this issue is... a spilled oil. Let us get over with it. It is. It is, my brother. It is so work with. Oh. <laughs> There is disaster. What happened? Uh, Azoka's mother just left my house. She said that um, the Berichi ran to their house this morning and stripped herself naked in the open before her and Azoka. Huh? She said that she did it because she wanted Azoka to marry her. You are lying, aren't you? No, no, I'm not lying. And as we all know, uh, having seen her nakedness in the open, Azoka is forbidden by our custom and tradition from having sex with any woman all his life. Ije, did, 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 did the mother, did, did she say anything about their next plan? Um, um, Azoka and the mother have no other choice than to agree. You know, Azoka is an only son. The problem now is how to disclose the news to Isiako. And uh, as even he can, she cannot even come here. Because she cannot face you. That's why she sent me. Hello. Here you are. It worked. My husband's kinsman who went to your compound told me that 
Owakwe has accepted to take you in place of your sister as his wife. Seriously? Yeah. So they said I should bring you back home. Oh, precious Owakwe's wife. <laughs> oh, so good to know. Um, Azuka, hmm? what about Ibeichi? Uh, yes, uh, she just finished taking her bed and was eating her food when we left her to this place. Uh, the sacrifice in the shrine did not take time. It didn't take long. At all. Uh, uh, how about your own side? The installation did not take long. We immediately finished with the installation. I have caged the spirit of Ozuma. And my man hold is back. <laughs> I guess everyone is happy because I am happy. <laughs> Come and see with your own eyes. Yeah? Come and see with yourself. Come and see with your own eyes. You very itchy. How long will you continue like this? For three days now you have not eaten. You've not slept. You've just been crying. Why? It's about time you forgot about your past and move on. Who are you even mourning? Uwakwe? Uwakwe that does not care about you? Uwakwe that, that joined others to drive you away from the land of your birth like a common dog? Uwakwe that connived with your own parents and replaced you with Isiako? Instead of collecting the bright price he paid on your head. No. You're lying. You're lying, aren't you? She, she, she's not lying. When we went to Umuele to return Isiaku's bright price, we saw him discussing with your parents. We, we never wanted to tell you this. You know, knowing fully well that it will get you devastated if you hear it. So we, we decided to keep it away from you. Yes, my dear. Uwakwe does not deserve you. He does not deserve your tears. He doesn't love you. Why don't you just put the past behind and move on with life? Why don't you embrace those who were empathic enough to bring you in when the whole world rejected you? Asoka and I, are we asking for too much? Of course not. Eh? We are not. Eh? Put a smile on your face. Eh? Give me, give me that acceptance hug. Let's let's live together as husband and wife, and and, and face the future together. Eh? Yeah. Eh? Please. Mama. Mother. Oh, oh j j just calm down, son. Just calm down. I've already started seeing positive signs. Positive signs? Positive signs where? Calm down, son. Calm down. Why did we hide it from her these three days? Because we didn't want to tell her and she would run away. Now that she's aware of it, where did she run to? Our own house. Of all places. What does that tell you? Time, my son. Time. Time heals all wounds. Patience. There is no storm patience or time cannot weather. Be patient. Come with me.
What are you doing here? Who, who showed you the road to our farm? I asked around. You asked around? Why? I mean, what happened? That you couldn't wait for, for us to return? Nothing. Nothing happened. Just that while I was in the house, I had serious thoughts about my life. My past, my present, my future. Then I made a decision. You made a decision? <sighs> About what? About... About us. I have decided to forget my sorrows, as you and mother advised. I will accept you wholeheartedly as my husband. <sighs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry that it took me this long to do that, despite you people's good deeds towards me that saved my life. Please forgive me. I'm sorry, mother. Again this night. I thought you said you've accepted me as your husband four days ago. Why are you still denying me my entitlement as your husband? Is, is there anything I need to know? No. But honestly, the news you gave me about my sister, the day you came back from the farm, threw me off balance emotionally. What news? Oh, oh. Oh, the news about this year, I can work with traditional wedding next week. <coughs> yes. Please, my dear. I want you to understand how traumatic everything is to me. And doing anything that requires deep emotion, like what you want to do now, will be very difficult for me. Please, if you really have respect for me as your wife, then let's wait a little. Maybe till after their wedding. Eh? After your sister's wedding to your former husband? I... I... I don't get it. I don't. Azoka. I have now accepted the reality of my situation. But somehow... Some part of me still lingers with Owakwe. And the only way that can be stopped as if I finally get married to my sister. So please, I beg you, just wait. Be patient. And I promise, after the wedding, I'll be all yours. Never to come here again. 
accept. Oh, just shut up your mouth, Lord. Where is not your husband? Get out of this place, you cost Babu. Why are you dragging me? He is mine. Uwakwe belongs to me. It's a lie. You are a lying dog. In fact, there is no black mole. You killed the sacred rabbit, Eperechi. You desecrated our land. And yet, you all are still alive. After I made physical contact with all of you, you're still alive. They cling to my husband. What is really your plan, Isiaku? To take Uwakwe away from me after frustrating me to the house of your own epileptic husband? Oh, you shut up and leave here at once. Take your cost self out of this place so we can continue our transition our wedding. Now! Not on your life. I am pregnant. I am carrying Uwakwe's baby. And as a pregnant woman, I see it on this car and demand that you confess everything you know. Else, Amadia will strike you down the moment I bring my raised hand down. Elders of our land, please. Yes, Yaku. Amado are the god of thunder. This is also the god of pregnancy in our religious tradition. He will obey her if you know something and fail to say before she brings that. Are you confessing or not? This has to come down on the count of seven. One, two, three. Yes. I carefully planned my revenge. I made sure I killed every child the British mother had a paid bridge before they were three months. Yes. I killed I, I, I tried to kill a bridge but it didn't work out. Even when they caught her, it is as about the shrine. I planted it. I planted it with Chukud. inside. I didn't find her inside. Ebere! 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 System! Oh. Why? What did you do? What did eh? you do? Again. What is it? Again. Let's go. Go to where? Go to go, go where? Move, move to where? Let's go. What happened? Go to where? Go to where? Move. What did you do? Move. Go where? What? Move to where? What did you do? Move. Leave me. Let's go. What did you do? A week after what happened, 
You're still brooding about it. I'm sorry. But no matter how hard I try, I just can't get over it. Despite everything, Isiako was still my sister. My own blood. How could she? How could she allow envy to lead her into such evil league and conspiracy? How could she get herself involved in something that made us suffer such disgraceful fate? Imagine my own sister hanged in the evil forest left alone to rot away dangling on a rope like a common animal it's okay it's okay yes Let's go inside. Nemo, Nemo, I come on the water. As in the more, I come on the water. Nemo, Nemo, I come on the water. As in the more, I come on the water. Chalani, <laughs> 